in for a really quick food video. I only have two things to try in this one. The first one, which I'm just so, just so excited about. I know I'm excited about all things, but I really am. So I heard about this on YouTube. I forget whose channel, but she was a runner. She was talking about how she liked having these for breakfast sometimes, just like a quick, easy breakfast. And they are the Aussie Bites. Here is a close-up of them. You can see they're made with all kinds of good things. They're organic, omega fats, but zero trans fats. It's all just, you know, happy, happy all around. So I already took the plastic that came all the way around it off because that can be kind of loud and I have my scissors here to help snip off those little ends and it's one of those when I saw her video and she's like they're so good everyone should you know be eating these because they're so good I rec recommend them I was like oh well you said you got them from Costco I belong to a Costco I've never seen these I'll probably never get to try them and then the next time I went to Costco, you know, here they were. I was so excited. I'm hoping they're not gross. And then um, my mom got some. She tried some. She said they're really good. I didn't, get, I didn't try any of hers. I wanted this to be first impression. And then so she, I went back to get her more because she doesn't belong to Costco and I couldn't find them again. So within like a week and a half or was it more half a week? Something around those lines. They sold out. I couldn't find them because they were on the end of an aisle. They weren't down an aisle. So, fingers crossed that you could find these if you want to try them. If not, I don't know, write to Costco. Because they have those little leave your feedback cards. And be like, you should carry these all the time. Get right on that. So, I have the lid off. Mmm, they smell good. Here is what they look like, hopefully without dumping them everywhere. All right, which one looks the best? We'll go with this little corner guy. He's a little smooshed, but here's the extreme close up. Ignore the fact that my nails are horribly chipped. I need to redo them. Here's a little butt. All right, so let's give it a try. Mmm, really crumbly. Mmm, that was a lot sweeter than I thought it would be. And they're chewy without being mushy. Like, you can really taste, like, all of the zillions of grains that are in here. Because it says there's rolled oats, dried apricots, flax seeds, sunflower seeds, honey, coconut, quinoa, chia seeds, and... All kinds of stuff. Hmm. Oh, I just got a sunflower seed. That was good. A little surprise in there. Because although a lot of the flavors do kind of mix together, every once in a while you get a pop of something different. Oh, there's another one. You can, here's a cross section. Let's see, the serving size on these, some nutritional infos. The serving size is one cookie. This is 130 calories. Wow, that's... I can see why a runner would like that. Because then you can get in the extra energy you need without having to eat a ton more food. Not so good for us lazy couch people, but... As long as you don't try and eat, like... Don't leave it on the couch next to you and snack on it so you go through, like half this thing in an episode of Grey's Anatomy or something. Mm. See? Crumbly. Mm-hmm. That is delicious. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So to go on the other side of the spectrum, we have a candy bar. 
It is a Coffee Crisp by uh, Nestle. Here's what it looks like. Um, it has a bonus sticker on it that was not originally there. And okay, so my house, I would say my roommate, but I mean her room's there, like there. My room's down there behind you, behind you. And she got so excited about seeing these at Lolly and Pops because she loves these so much that she has her boyfriend who lives in Canada like send her care packages of these. So we get to give these a try because I didn't know they were such a big deal. I seen them at All and Pops. I didn't know I was supposed to freak out. Well, I now know better. And which side shall we open? Because of the extra sticker, I'm actually just gonna cut her open. All right, we're in. So here are our first glimpses at her. Very candy bar. Well, very standard candy bar, I should say. What we'll kind of peak, peak, peak? All right, nice and textury, like candy, like you know, poured chocolate will do. We'll pick up any textures. Let's give it a try. Cheers. Mmm. Very strong coffee smell. Hmm. Oh, there it is. There are a lot of layers. First, of course, you get the chocolate. Then you get like the kind of blandness of the wafers mixing in. And then at the very end, you get the coffee. So here's what she looks like on the inside. Very crispy. You can see the different layers. This is really good. I'm going to, okay, I'm going to put this away for now, but I am really excited. I might have to get more of those. Not too many though, because I have so much candy already. The store that we got that from, as you go through the store, you can actually sample everything in the Scooby bins, like as much as you want, which some people be like, well, how do they make any money then? Well, at least if you're me, you'll go in there and you'll be like, oh, look at that chocolate covered honeycomb. Let's give that a try. And you're like, oh, that's really good. Okay. And then you try a whole bunch of other things. And you're like, oh, you know, these chocolate sea salt almonds are also very nice. And then you try like all the gummy bears, which they have like a European grapefruit gummy bear, which is very good. Very good. They also had a jalapeno one which wasn't very sweet, but it was noticeably spicy. Like it wasn't too bad for, for me. I also kind of like spicy food to some degree. I'm not like, yeah, spicy, more bitter. I'm just like, oh yes, I can feel it a little, that's good. And it was so confusing because it was a gummy, so I was expecting it to be sugary and then it was spicy and, but anyway, so you try all those and you're like, okay, I've had enough sugar. I'm good. And then you get home and you're just doing whatever. You're watching a movie and you're like, oh, those chocolate covered sea salt almonds right now would be so good. So perfect right now. And then like the next day you're like, oh, that chocolate covered honeycomb, that was so good. And then next time you go, even though you still try a whole bunch of stuff, you know that when you get home, because you can't just show up every day. Well, you could, but I think in the long run that would cost more. And you can't just do that while you're watching a movie unless you have your phone. And you're like, yes. No, employee, I don't need help. <laughs> but you know when you get home, you're gonna be like, oh, I wish I got some. So then you get like a big bag of it. So it's one of those that sometimes it doesn't hit you right then. They just suck you in later and really every time I go, even though I eat a ton of samples, I also buy way too much. So they got me. They got me good. 
I have their frequent shopper card, a little punch card. It's Anyway, I'm starting to ramble, so I'll see everyone next time. Bye! Excited candy sugar.